Good morning. Thank you once again for joining me for the Wednesday morning meditation. And today we're getting right back on track with our daily office. So we are in year two, proper 14. And there is a gospel reading that is a choice for today, which is John 4, 1 through 26. So we're going to be doing a portion of that. Um, and the meditation will be on the familiar story of the Samaritan woman at the well. So as I'm reading this story, which is paraphrased, I uh, invite you to just sink into the words, sink into the story, see if any kind of um, visual image comes to your mind as you are listening, and just, just enjoy it. Jesus, tired out by his journey, was sitting by Jacob's well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water and Jesus said to her, give me a drink. The Samaritan woman said to him, how is it that you ask a drink of me? Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. Those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. So let's focus in on living water. I love this story. I love it for many reasons. It is uh, uh, one of my favorites, perhaps because it is so visually strong. And I think we can grow with it, or at least I have grown with it and grown into it. Uh, so it's like that for us, very inviting. So in this story, the Samaritan woman has some questions for Jesus when he tells her about living water, which is available to her. And her questions are very good ones, very practical. She asks him, what is this living water you're talking about? Where does it come from? And how is it possible that you are going to give me this water when the well is so deep and you don't even seem to have a bucket to dip into the well to get the water. Very practical questions on her part. So Jesus responds to her saying, well, you see, I'm not talking about the kind of water that you're thinking of. I'm talking about another kind of water. So as we look a little deeper, or as my good friend Kathy Payne says, let's take a longer look at this reading and what this other kind of water is that Jesus is talking about. So he is saying, this different water I'm offering is something that can become part of you, and it can grow, and it can grow and grow, and it can grow so big that eventually it can reach out to touch all eternity. It seems to me that Jesus is saying here that the living water that makes him who he is is meant to be part of us too. And that we too can participate and take part in the unfolding of all eternity. Well, in my experience, that sense of connection with the eternal God 
often comes in very small moments, moments that can be overlooked and um, that happen and unfold in all of our lives quite naturally when God communicates with us through his language of grace. So for me, God's grace is that living water that Jesus is speaking of here. So St. Ignatius teaches us that a good exercise in gospel contemplation uh, can open a door for us in terms of locating that grace in our lives, how it operates, finding that grace that is of God. And the story of the Samaritan woman at the well is, um, as I've said, so marvelously visual. It's a really good one that we can lean on for this to get into the gospel story and place ourselves into the gospel story to help it lead us into more understanding of how God's life and our life intersect. So I invite you into this gospel contemplation in which we will also search for those moments of grace in your life. And um, so in preparation for this, I invite you to settle into yourself and once again, wherever your center of gravity is, it tends to be for me often in my up here and the, the thinking part of me, but let's just uh, go down, sink down lower into the heart and uh, maybe even taking some breaths, sinking down lower and lower into that center of ourselves. And as we lower our eyelids, just let our eyes become softer. Let us, through our creative imagination, go walking down a road. As you find yourself on your road, look down to see what kind of road you're walking on. Perhaps sandy or made of gravel or even a path through the woods. And as you walk down your road, walk down your path, become aware of what's around you, what is in your environment. Are there trees around or some kind of shrubbery or even a beach-like setting might be yours. So as you walk down your road, now you are looking up to see that there is an opening in the path that leads you into a deeper place. And in that deeper place, somehow mysteriously, a water well appears right there, right in the center. And take a look at your water well. Is it made of rocks? Is it made of brick? What is the texture of it? As you get a little closer to take a closer look, you see there that there is a woman standing there and a man. The noonday sun is high overhead, lights up everything around in your vision. And look at the woman as she makes gestures with her hands kind of rolling upward and she has a questioning look on her face. And the man who is a familiar stranger to you is gesturing something back, saying something back to her. And all of a sudden it looks like the woman is getting some new kind of understanding about something. And you are drawn to get closer. You want to have that new understanding too. And so as she moves away, you move into her place, taking your place at the well. 
And as the familiar stranger locks eyes with you, you understand. This familiar stranger is Jesus. It is the King of Love himself who is right there in front of you, holding your gaze, beaming his love into you. And so Jesus is now beckoning you to look down into the well, see the water way, way, way down deep. And as you are looking, you hear him say, I want you to look back into your life the last day or so. And find with me a moment in your life when you could feel the love that is already there for you. You feel God's love in one way or another, whether through another person, through the beauty of creation or however that love comes to you. Find a moment in your concrete life when that happened for you. Spend a moment drinking in how your heart was uplifted. Enjoy it, relish in it. And now Jesus is saying to you, now let's go deeper into the water. Take your gaze there, deeper, deeper into the water and let's find another moment when grace touched your life, opened your heart, opened all your senses. Love came alive for you. Find another moment in your life of the last few days. Savor it. Hold that moment in your heart. And now feeling the wonderful pleasures of being touched by God's grace. Feel the hand of Jesus coming right onto your forehead and making the sign of the cross on your forehead as he blesses you, blessing your moments of grace as he himself asks for that grace to be increased within you. Breathe it in and feel that love. And now in all too short of a time, it is time to leave this wonderful, peaceful, blessed moment with Jesus. And so as you bow to him and he bows to you and you turn to walk away, right back down the path from which you came, walk away knowing that it is the king of love himself who has blessed you.
芳芳。